Hey everyone and welcome to this episode of Stock Dispated. In this episode, I'll be showcasing the P-51D30. This is a rank 4 battle rating 5.0 fighter for the American Air Tech Tree, and it is perfect for Stock Dispated, being that this is an optionally unlocked plane that sits in the same exact spot as the P-51D5 Mustang, and is essentially an exact upgrade over the P-51D5, in that it has a better top speed, better turn time, better rate of climb, and just overall better performance. However, it does feature less ammunition than the D5, so it is not a total upgrade, just in most aspects. Now that being said, of course, in Stock to Spaded, I have three different matches that I like to showcase this vehicle off, in which the first match is totally stock. I go over how this plane feels, kind of where it starts off in your grind, because of course everybody starts off fully stock, unless of course, you start purchasing mods with Golden Eagles, which I would not recommend. And then the second match, I will be about halfway spaded and kind of go over how it's improved at that point. And the third match, I'll go over where this vehicle is fully spaded, how it feels, and if I feel this vehicle is worth purchasing, crewing, spading, so on and so forth, which is especially important, again, being that this is a fully optional vehicle. Now with that introduction out of the way, let's get into it. So one of the important things to note here as I move a little bit closer to the enemy, of course, those are bots. I might take a shot at them. I'm not sure. But regardless, one of the important things to note about this is that I actually have this vehicle fully spaded. So this vehicle right here that you're seeing, I actually removed all the modifications because, of course, this is stock to spaded. So I'm going to reattach them. I guess you could say halfway spaded and then fully spaded. But um, just again, so you guys know, I have fully spaded this vehicle in the past, but right now I am flying fully stock after having removed all of my modifications. So just kind of want to get that, that little nugget of information out of the way. In case you see, because you know later in the video, what I like to do is I like to show you exactly what mods I use. You will see that I'll have all of the mods unlocked. However, of course, only specific ones will have been actually selected and in use. Now that said, let's move over here to some of the fights. Hopefully I can get a kill or two, or three, or four. Who knows? But anyways, again, fully stock, and uh, hopefully I can get some kills. So one thing I notice immediately about this plane is, well, obviously, that it is, it kind of feels like the D5. I mean, this almost kind of feels like it picks off where the D5 left off, if that makes any level of sense. Man, this rudder is killing me. It's killing me, Smalls. So, okay, he's already breaking apart. He's kind of put himself into a dive. I got this 217 down here. Hopefully I can get a kill against him. Let's see. Now, one of the, the great things about American planes that I just don't have access to right now are the tracer belts. And the tracer belts are incendiary like they are laden they are just chock full of incendiary rare yeah incendiary ammunition great he took my kill thank you very much and <laughs> he said exactly what i said and they are just so full of it that you know at least when it comes to prop planes they light engines on fire like no one's business especially when it comes to japanese planes they are just phenomenal in that regard. So I got a G-Series up here. Okay, he didn't want to mess. That was a little late of me to react. But I'm going to go for these Japanese planes. Now, one of the greatest uses of the P-51 is against Japanese planes. Because even without the incendiary, or rather the tracer belts, I still have plenty of incendiary ammunition in the basic belts. Uh, although, of course, the proportion of incendiary to other types of ammunition is going to be a bit less. So it's not as much of a sure shot. So hopefully I can get it onto these guys while they're distracted with that P-47. Um, I'm likely going for this KI-84 down here, being that he's closest. Turn in on that A6M5 or whatever that is. So let's see. He's pretty low energy. Oh, wow. He's, he actually didn't even have a prop, really. Um, so yes, I'm going to go for this KI-84. Let's see, can I get a set on fire? Got the kill, doesn't really matter about setting him on a fire. Now, where I mentioned before about having less ammunition, this is kind of where it counts. So the P-51D5 actually has around 200 more 
rounds of ammunition compared to this. Also, it has more ground attack options. So just kind of as a uh, as an initial thing to kind of note here, you will get a better ground attack plane for the most part when selecting the D5 over the D30. The D30 is more likely than not just going to be a bit better when it comes to anti-air, but of course they can both get the job done. Really the biggest difference here is that this is a much better performer, although at the cost, again, a 0.7 BR. So I'm gonna go for the C Fury here. Hopefully I can get the kill. If not, get the assist. I always look at assists as a good thing. They're not bad. Okay, not bad. So I had two kills, two assists. I killed a bot in the beginning and I damaged that C Fury. Could have gotten a third assist if it counted, but regardless, not too bad. So that said, let's get into the halfway stock or the halfway spaded match. See what we could do, but otherwise this plane feels like a D5 fully spaded. So right away, I mean, I have about eh, half the modifications unlocked, or at least applied to this vehicle. And I can tell you right away that although I have really prioritized the performance modifications, as you can probably see based on the stats and also the modifications I chose, um, this vehicle is much better performing. I feel like at the same altitude, give or take, having reached it, I probably would be going around 30 to 40 kilometers per hour slower with the stock D30. Um, so it, it definitely feels quite a bit nicer. Now, one of the great things about all Mustangs is that they come equipped with G-suits. Now, of course, you have to unlock them. I do not have that mod uh, actually on this, so I am going without the G-suit, but it is still nice. Now, I do have the tracer shells here. Hopefully, you can see it catch fire. Not quite, but it still set him up to uh, have some pretty nasty engine damage. Now, that is a G-series. He's going to have much better um, overall firepower than what I have, but I think I should be able to put those flaps on and outturn him here. Yes. Got a crit. Not too bad. Still not on fire. And it looks like one of my... HMGs uh, shot something on the ground there. So let's see. Can I hit him? Can I hit him? I mean, he's going to crash anyways, but this isn't really something I want to leave up to chance. But I'll give credit to this guy. He's not just jaying out. He's really making me fight for it. And he's drawing me closer to the ground. Although, to my credit, not to my credit, but rather... Uh, my idiocy here, I am following. So let's do this one more time. I'm going to probably go for that G-Series. The other one, just a moment, once I get this guy. He, okay, perfect. He's dead. Now, there is that other G-Series in the air. Right there. I want to turn down quick. Put them flaps on. Should hopefully, maybe, nope. Okay, regain my speed. But what I can tell you immediately, like I said, performance is substantially better on this. Don't hit me. He hit me. Not too much damage, though. And he skimmed, hit the ground. Not bad. This is going to be a free kill for me, I think. Unless he just hits the ground. Yes, he will. And he offed himself. But not too bad. Um, you know, again, much better performance than I would say the regular D30, or the uh, stock D30, rather. So definitely very, very good. And just so you guys know, when it comes to stock to spaded, uh, typically I like to do one-take videos, unless, of course, it's just complete garbage. I'm not getting a kill. It's just, you know, something is wrong, whatever the case may be. There's very few instances where I will not include my first or even second take in a stock to spaded, because those are the most honest takes. I'm not looking for a four, five, six, seven kill match. That first match that I had in this was my first match, uh, genuinely with this plane for the Stock Dispated series. Uh, so of course I'm going to include it and I'll probably include this one here because it does show exactly what I can do with this plane. Not everybody's going to be going for planes all the time. As you can see here versus the NPC target, it set them on fire. I'm actually really surprised that I did not get that G6 on fire pretty much immediately but what happened to that fw 190 uh, is pretty representative of what these tracer belts can do to enemy players now that said i got an me 264 up there not too bad not going to go for him 
Let's see if I can take out this light pillbox with my shell. Nice! With my HMGs, you can go after and take out a light pillbox. Very, very nice. Again, I want to show off the capabilities of this plane, just so you can know whether or not it's actually worth getting. Again, because this is a fully optional vehicle, but of course, the light pillbox is not going to be a guaranteed kill, especially if you're a dingus like me. So right now, with one kill, seven ground kills, and a bot kill, I am number one on the team, 1,548 points, and in the whole match, actually, so not too bad. Um, not bad at all. I might go land in a few moments so I can get some more ammunition, but again, I mean, just showing off the ground attack capabilities, if you had any doubts about the capabilities of maybe these belts or... Even the HMGs, the 50 cals, which are renowned in War Thunder, in my opinion, uh, you know, this should hopefully kind of allay some of your fears right here. So I'm going to turn around. I don't really want to engage in another dogfight here as I am around one-sixth of my ammunition, a little bit less even. So I'm going to go back to base and uh, not only re-ammo up, but fuel up and repair my vehicle because, as you could see, I do have some slight wing damage there. But again, not too bad. You know what? While I'm up, I'm just going to go for this FW-190. Just so you can, again, have another example of what these tracer belts can do. Just in case I don't actually get up and, and fight another actual um, a a enemy player. So, let's just see how easily this catches on fire. Now, of course, it looks like he's already damaged. So, let's see if I can actually hit him. Doesn't look like I will. Okay, there we go. Okay. Got the pilot, doesn't really matter. But uh, go to land now. But what I can tell you right off the bat, even before I get into the next uh, match, which is where I typically tell you whether or not you should get this or not, whatever the case may be, what I can tell you immediately is that this plane is definitely much more focused as a fighter than the D5, especially, I mean, you could tell just looking, whoa, just looking at the loadouts. The D5 is a bit more of an all-around plane. Of course, all Mustangs are, but you have more options for ground attack with the D5. So, in theory, it should be a better plane. Plus, it also has more ammunition. But this has, by far, much better performance than the D5. So, if you're looking for a ground attack, maybe stick with the D5. But if you're looking for a fighter, this might be the way to go. But I'll be able to tell you whether or not this is truly worth it come the spaded match. So at this point, we are fully spaded, and, I mean, another performance boost here. Like, I'm at 3,000 meters, no problem, and, I mean, what, 420 kilometers per hour gaining speed. This is very impressive, fully spaded. It's, even for a 5.0 BR plane, this has phenomenal performance that I would ex expect from a higher BR plane than this. And, um, you know, as... With most Mustangs, uh, it does have performance that I would say uh, exceeds the BR in which it sits. So that being said, let's see here. Got a bunch of planes over there. Some guy noticed me. Thank you, Senpai. Ooh, he saw us bow time. So I got this guy here. Um, don't really want to head on with him, so I'm not more than a few seconds. It might be kind of a difficult one to get a uh, an engine hit, but it is what it is. Now, when it comes to those people um, who kind of go up and whatever else, I've got the energy advantage over this guy right now. Um, won't last for too, too long if I keep this these shenanigans up, but I can put my flaps on. Should be able to turn him net. Whoa, that's a lot of spinniness. Do not like that. Got a crit. That is nice. Got the kill. Very, very nice. So, yeah, I mean, overall performance is phenomenal on this. Now, I can tell you 100% uh, that as a fighter, yes, I feel like this is a worth it thing. Go ahead, get it. I mean, this is one of the purest expressions of the Mustang in War Thunder, and it is great. At 5.0 BR, this thing is just a ton of fun. Phenomenal, um, you know, I, I really can't say enough good things about it. I'm gonna go for this ITP M1 here, probably not a great idea. Got a nice hit on him. Kind of worry about that J21, however. 
Should not have went in front of him. I broke one of the tenets of the dogfight. Um, typically, I do not like to get in between other players. And that is exactly what I did. But I'm going to go for this BF-109 here. Got a hit. Very nice. Got another plane there. Okay, going for this J-21 now. He's still... Okay. LA-7. Uh, not good, not good, not good. Not bad. So this Lebochkin is going to be my next target. Don't know if I'm going to be able to hit him. Russian planes are typically pretty slippery. Got the third kill. Not bad. So yeah, I don't know if you guys saw, but I felt like that was pretty decent. Uh, three kills, one assist. Not too shabby-dabby right there. Final kill. So yes, do I think that this plane is worth it? Yeah. Yeah. 100%. I mean, at least if you're looking for a fighter. If you're just looking for close air support, the D5 does totally well, but the D30 is just a straight upgrade, again, with the exception of the lower amount of ammunition. It is just a straight upgrade over top of the, uh, the D5. Now, one thing also to note here is that that last match actually ended with uh, us having more tickets than they did. They actually ran out of tickets. But I did come in first place with, what, one kill, two bot kills, and a bunch of ground kills. So you guys got to see how this plane worked in a bunch of different situations in Air RB. But either way, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I am very impressed with this aircraft at 5.0 BR. And if you just, if I didn't know that this was a 4 point or 5.0 BR, I would have definitely uh, kind of assumed 5.3 or maybe even a little bit higher. So yes, um, you know, again, excellent plane thanks again guys and i will see you all on the other side take care everyone